Hey guys, Jay Hatch here, your sales consultant at Whitby Mazda. And uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but the 2016 and previous Mazda CX-5s, when the tires were low on air, there was a little tire pressure button right there uh, that you could press, if that's picking it up there, and you just hold that down and that would reset uh, the tire pressure monitor. So that little light that's telling you your tire pressure is low would go away. 2017 and up, the new design doesn't have it. So what do you do? So how it works, and this is a 2019 Mazda CX-5, but 2017 and up is that new design. If we take a look over here, you're gonna see that it doesn't have that same button to reset the tire pressure monitoring. It's just not there. There's nothing that you can press to reset because let's say you're driving along, tires are low, you go and put air in them at the gas station or whatever, and then you would normally hold that button down. It's not there. So the reason for that is because the previous CX-5s, they didn't have actual sensors in the tires. What it would do is the computer system would read that if one of the tires are low on air, it would rotate at a slower speed and that's when it knew that one of the tires needed air and that light would come on. So with the new CX-5s, they've got the tire pressure monitoring sensors actually right in there. So that way it knows uh, if it's low on air, you're gonna get that same light. Um, and then after you put air in it, there's no button to press. The light will go away by itself. Now that could be driving just um, 30 seconds down the road, uh, or you might be driving for about 10 kilometers. Usually we say give it about approximately 10 kilometers before that light goes away. It also makes a difference if it's uh, what model of Mazda it is. If it's a CX-5, if it's a Mazda 6, if it's a Mazda 3, they're gonna have a different amount of time before those sensors reset themselves. Now, if that's still not happening, you'd wanna bring it into a dealership and have a service technician take a look. Um, it could be an electrical uh, fault, um, or maybe we just need to get the, diagnose the vehicle, we'd plug it in, check the codes and see what's happening. Um, obviously, at that point, I would suspect you've got a nail in your tire um, or there's some kind of leak uh, where it's not, uh, it's not fixing that, obviously. All right, guys, so hopefully that helps. I had a customer ask me about that and say, how do I reset the tire pressure monitoring sensor on, uh, on my 2019 CX-5? So I talked to a couple techs, figured it out, and there you go. Hopefully that helps. Any questions, guys, or anything else you want to know, let me know. Jay Hatch at Whitby Mazda. You can call or text me, 905-391-1637. You can email me, jhatch at Whitby Mazda. You can hit me up on my social media, hashtag jhatchmazda, or you could just come into the dealership and talk to me in person. That's always my preference, but I love to hear from you guys. Hope you're having an awesome day, and uh, don't forget, you deserve awesome service. You do. Thanks, guys.